Michigan really has a huge music history. And along those lines, we welcome Dwayne Roy to the program. Good morning, Dwayne. How are you this morning? Good, good. You drove down from Canada yesterday. Yep. Where? You're in Wawa? Wawa. Where exactly is Wawa? Wawa will be about two hours north of Sault Ste. Marie. Okay. And now you've written this book, Castle Stories, a rock and roll scrapbook. Castle Farm, Charlevoix, Michigan. Uh, When did this come out? Uh, November. And uh, so you obviously have a long or involved history with Castle Farms, do yes. you not? How, how many times do you think you will get, first kind of, when when is, does most of the book take place, basically? Uh, most of the book take, takes place, the majority is, of my stories take place from 86 to 90. But there's uh, stories that go back to, I guess, 78 or so. Now, you uh, apparently, you, you, right, came down to Castle Farms quite a bit. Yes. yes. How, how, I mean, how long was that trip for you? Four hours. Four hours. Yep. All right. What was the big draw? Well, why why go all that way to see uh, see stuff at Castle Farms? Well, it was the closest uh, concert venue to Wawa. Like Sault Ste. Marie would have concerts. Not nothing, to, you know, of the ilk of uh, what Castle Farms would have. You know, just Canadian bands and stuff. But Castle Farms had the big the big draw, the big names. Now, uh, you have a mugshot of yourself on Facebook. Yes. Explain yourself. Mugshotmaker.com. Everyone seems to think that I'm some criminal or something. That's just, uh, yeah. It's not, oh, it's not a legit mugshot. No, there, but it seems a lot. Oh, I thought it was a real one. No, oh, so did I. I thought maybe up. you got into trouble there at no. Castle Farms because there may no. have been a little, are you pulling my leg? No, seriously, that's yeah. mugshotmaker.com. Mugshotmaker.com, Mel, I'm that's doing sweet. it. That's awesome. Yes. All right, so, but Castle Farms was rough and tumble there. Yes, it and was. It was yeah. quite the venue, not just for music, but for other shenanigans, or as yep. I saw one of your chapters, other tomfoolery. Yes, tomfoolery. But I think yeah. I'm going to go shenanigans, or worse than that. All right. So when was your first concert? When? Yeah. When? Uh, when 1986. 19, who'd you see? White Snake. White Snake. Let's see. I saw White Snake oh, in the, in the, in the in about that time. Yeah. Right. I saw them in Las Cruces. So they Castle Farms was getting big acts. Yes. 87. I'm sorry. It was 87. Now was it an it was an outdoor venue? Outdoor of course. venue, yes. All right. Um, and how were how were the, how was the con how were the concerts there? I mean, from a quality standpoint. Oh, excellent. Yeah, excellent. The uh, it was one of those places with a, a seated area and then a, another area, a lawn similar to a kind of DTE has or whatever you know, a seated spot, yeah, and a fence, and then the lawn deal or whatever. So the seated area was always a uh, mayhem. <laughs> I'm reading the warning on your the on your book. Uh, During the research and writing of this book, it became painfully obvious that people's power of recollection can sometimes be questionable. Huh, I wonder what forced that to happen. Keep in mind, many of these events happened 20-plus years ago, and I'm guessing there may have been some outside forces on these people at the time. Occasionally, yeah. Personally, my memory has become like a weather, has become like the weather. Either it's really good or really bad and highly unpredictable. All right, so what, what, you woke up one morning and said, I think I'll write a book. Uh, explain kind of, how yeah. that happened. What happened was, uh, you know, when you sit around with your buddies and you're drinking beer. And no, I don't know that, but go okay. ahead. I hear some people do well, that. Well, that happens. <laughs> yeah, right. In Canada, that happens a lot. Yeah. Because, you know, the winter's 11 sure, months long. Sure, yes. So we sit around and, and it always goes back to the castle. You know, the castle. Remember the time you were all drunk and, you know, remember the time you lost your pants or what, you know. Re- well, Mel and I were just wait, talking wait, about that the other back. day. Remember, yes, Vic. Hey, remember Mel, remember that time you lost your pants? Uh, now, would you typically <laughs> go don't. down with the same group of buddies? Yes. Typically? Typically, yeah. All right, so how many of their, the, that group? Uh, I'd say probably four of the core. Uh, the that core, questionable uh, memory starting core, to hit uh, you, isn't it, right no, now? No, the core imbeciles, I would say. <laughs> core imbeciles. Yeah. All right, nice. of that four, okay. and of all the trips you made, of, of that four, who comes across as the biggest dope? The biggest bonehead, you mean? Yeah. Oh. Maybe you? No. No. No, I was always the cro- I mean, come <laughs> on. There's got to be somebody. All right, what was your role then? What What, what was my role? Yeah. Because I was the, always the oldest there. So, okay, uh, so you were the oldest. I was usually the driver. I was, oh. I was usually the you know the chauffeur. All right. And now. Then I, my buddy uh, Ray and Rob were, there was always one. You know, it's always good to have one guy with you. Who always takes it to the next level because then yes. you know what I mean you don't look like much of an idiot is well you were drunk last night Dwayne yeah, yeah. remember what yeah you but did last look night look at that guy yeah yeah exactly so that's, and that's how we just hung around with those guys all right now 
not to incriminate yourself, but I think the statute of limitations, limitations is probably over. Uh, were there road brews involved here? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. And, and the funny part was because uh, Americans didn't understand Canadian ID for whatever reason. It's a little bit different or whatever. Um, it goes into the book that we ended up with a little scratch-on stencil kit from the, you know, the, the, oh, yeah. the prints. Oh, or whatever. sure. And we put these stupid little numbers in our driver's license, and I'd be 17, but it would say I'm like 28. Right, sure. Or something, oh, you know? yeah, and then that's the classic. Would, yeah. yeah, and the people would, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And then... When I was, say, 18, 19 years old, a little bit before you were, uh, we had a place that we found where we could go get IDs made, a legitimate shop, oh, wow. and you could say, I want one that says I'm from Missouri. And they'd take your picture really? and they'd put in any birth that you want, and you it would say Missouri. Thing? Yes. Oh, yeah. And people not knowing what a Missouri driver's license looks yeah. like. Oh, okay. Well, go right ahead. Buy all the beer you want there. Of course, you look 14, but all right, whatever. Yeah. All right. So um, what was the drinking age in Canada at the time? Uh, it's still 19. Still 19. Yep. I Now, Mel, did you know that? I did not know that. I, I got to go. That's well, awesome. In Ontario, it's 19. All it's right. actually 18 in other provinces. but Is it really? Yeah. What do the Canadians know that we don't? Well, it's uh, a long winter. Yeah, winter. Yeah. Winter <laughs> sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I okay. think we know that. Yeah. So who was the bonehead of the group? Because there's this is a great... The bonehead of the group. Premise for a movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the four guys, yeah. much like The Hangover, Mel. So who would be, have you seen The Hangover? Yep. Course, who would yeah. be Alan in that group? Uh, probably yeah. my buddy Ray, I would say. Really? Yes. What was Ray's deal? What was his hookup? Uh, he was the guy that took it to the to the next <laughs> to level. To the next level. To the next level. Like, you know, I could drink, you know, if you drank 16 beer, he would have to drink you know, 19, just to say that you know, I, I, I bested you or whatever. Now, you would oh. go down for what? How long would a trip, road trip last? Uh, sometimes we'd go, actually go uh, the night before. Okay. And uh, where would you stay? We stayed at a campground in Charlevoix. All right. Or we stayed at a hotel. Usually we try to stay at a campground, but then we stayed at this particular campground, but then uh, as it goes into in the book or whatever, another guy from Wawa uh, drove his truck into a cabin. Like into into yeah he was drunk and driving around like in, you know in circles and you know yeah and all that <laughs> <laughs> drove into a building so then after that that is awesome yeah we weren't allowed there anymore oh really yeah. weird shocking yeah. and then you'd go to the concert the next day yes you'd show up probably I'm sure there was a fair amount of sleeping going on in the morning but then yeah. little tailgating before the concert yeah. would start there was yeah how, how, how often how I mean how early would you get to say an event. 